the ultimate Ireland travel guide, travel documents and insurance. Welcome to the ultimate Ireland travel guide, your compass for an unforgettable journey through the Emerald Isle. In this segment, we'll cover the essential travel documents you need to ensure a smooth Irish adventure. First and foremost, let's talk about passports. To enter the Republic of Ireland or Northern Ireland, most travelers will need a valid passport. However, there are a few exceptions. If you're a UK citizen, you have the option to use official photo identification. European Union citizens can also use a national identity card for entry. Most airlines and transportation carriers will require photo identification, which can include a national identity card, driver's license, or passport. Keep in mind that a passport is required for all visitors not mentioned in these exceptions. To be absolutely certain, we recommend checking with your travel agent or airline before embarking on your journey. Now, let's discuss visas. Whether you'll need one depends on your citizenship. If you're a citizen of a European Economic Area (EEA) member state or a citizen of many other countries, including Great Britain, the USA, Australia, Canada, and New Zealand, you generally do not need a visa to visit the Republic or Northern Ireland. South African visitors can explore the Republic of Ireland without a visa. However, they'll need a UK visa for entry into Northern Ireland. For an exhaustive list of countries whose citizens do not require a visa, you can consult Ireland's Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade. If you have any doubts or specific questions regarding your visa requirements, you can also reach out to your local Irish embassy or consulate before your journey. Moving on, let's talk about currency in Ireland. In the Republic of Ireland, you'll be using the euro, euro, as the official currency. Euro banknotes come in various denominations from 5 euros to 500 euros, and coins are available in 2 euros, 1 euro, 50 cents, 20 cents, 10 cents, 5 cents, 2 cents, and 1 cent. In Northern Ireland, part of the United Kingdom, you'll be dealing with the British pound sterling, pound. Please note that the British pound is not accepted in the Republic of Ireland, and vice versa. So, if you're planning to explore both parts of Ireland, it's essential to have both currencies at hand. We strongly advise you to exchange some currency in your home country before your journey, where you can usually secure favorable exchange rates. If you need more cash during your travels, ATMs, automated teller machines, are widespread in most cities, conveniently accepting most bank cards. However, remember to check your withdrawal limits with your bank and ensure you know your PIN. Be aware of any fees associated with cash withdrawals. Alternatively, payment cards such as credit cards, debit cards, and travel cards are safe and widely accepted methods of payment. Visa and MasterCard are the most recognized credit cards in Ireland. American Express and Diners Club are accepted by major hotels but are less common elsewhere. Travelers' checks, however, are not widely accepted, and changing them at a bank may incur fees. Now, let's discuss the importance of travel insurance. Travel insurance can be a lifesaver, covering various aspects of your trip. A packaged policy typically costs around 4-8% of your trip's total cost and includes protection against trip delays, cancellations, medical expenses, and baggage claims. You can even customize your policy with additional coverage like pandemic protection and medical evacuations. The good news is, you might already have some coverage. If you're using a credit card for travel or have homeowners or renters insurance, travel insurance may already be included. To be certain, consult your insurance provider and credit card issuer to understand your existing coverage. When booking an Ireland vacation package or using a tour operator, we strongly recommend purchasing travel insurance. An unexpected closure of a travel company can leave travelers in a difficult spot. As for where to buy travel insurance, it's available through various sources like trip operators, airlines, cruise companies, and travel agents. However, many of these policies may have markups or less comprehensive coverage compared to third-party insurers. To make an informed decision, compare policies before purchasing any insurance, and thoroughly review the contract, including the fine print. A quick Google search will lead you to numerous options, including comparison sites, enabling you to find reliable insurance from reputable companies. As for when to buy travel insurance, 
it's best to secure it shortly after booking your flights, accommodations, or other trip details. This timing ensures that most travel insurance policies cover pre-existing conditions, offering you the protection and peace of mind you need. With your travel documents in order, your currency sorted, and your travel insurance secured, you're well on your way to an unforgettable Irish adventure. Stay tuned for more insights in the Ultimate Ireland Travel Guide, your trusted companion for exploring this stunning land. Slauncher!